Hello guys, welcome to ITS Stars. Um, this video is actually a battle video between the two world's most popular and used operating systems. That is uh, Windows versus Linux. Uh, Mac boys, you may be wondering why I am leaving Mac from this list because Mac is different when compared to Windows and Linux. So this video is the battle between Windows and Linux. So here I will be discussing with you the things which differentiates both the operating systems and uh, at last I will tell you which one is the superior operating system systems between the two. So, as usual, let us step into the video. The first main thing which differentiates both the operating system is the type. Okay, you may be wondering what am I trying to say about the type of the operating system. Well, here's the thing. When it comes to Windows, well, in this case, Windows is the perfect example for a closed source operating system. But a Linux is another type. It's a perfect example of an open source operating system. Um, this may sound weird, closed source, open source. A closed source operating system is actually a software Software. All the operating systems are actually system software, so a closed source operating system has some restrictions uh, of usage. It is not actually provided to the public for usage. A closed source operating system's ownership and uh, editing privileges and modifying privileges are only specified to the person, that is who the developer, uh, the person who developed the operating system. But in case of uh, open source software or an open source operating system, anyone can do anything with the software or the operating system. Well, in this case, you can do anything with Linux. You can even edit the source code of Linux, but in case of Windows, the source code is uh, sealed and it is actually illegal to edit the code. Only Microsoft has the prior legal uh, rights or the privilege to edit and modify the source code of the operating system. So, that's the type, that's the thing which differentiates the type of both the operating systems. Uh, for example, uh, you can uh, equate Windows to a closed vault, that is a closed locker. In case of Windows, you actually know the password for opening the vault, but you cannot take anything from inside the vault. You can just see the things inside the vault or the locker. But in case of Linux, it's an open vault. It doesn't have a password itself. You can just open the vault and you can see the things. You can even change or edit the things from inside the locker. So I think this yeah, this example is a little lame, but it suits this case. So the next thing which differentiates both the operating system is the distributors. Well, you may be wondering what a distributor means well here's the explanation part a distributor is a person who distributes things but in case of this operating system stuff when it comes to windows microsoft is the one and only sole distributor of windows microsoft has the right to develop to edit to modify to advertise to promote to sell and to redistribute or to distribute windows and you cannot do such things with Windows without getting prior permission from Microsoft. So that's illegal. So don't try to do such things with the closed source operating system. And uh, when it comes to Linux, actually Linux has a hell lot of distributors. Linux has more than 50 to 100 distributors or even more distributors, I think. And in that list, only 10 to 20 distributors are the most popular distributors in the world. Um, I use Ubuntu version of Linux. That is, uh, in this case, Linux is distributed to me by Ubuntu. And there are even more popular distributors like uh, Debian Linux, uh, Mint Linux, Arc Linux, uh, Red Hat Linux. So that's the thing with the distributor. Even if you want to be a distributor of Linux, you just need to do some things like you need to acquire the general public license that is GPL for Linux and you need to know some programming stuffs, uh, some advanced programming stuffs. You need to learn some things about operating system and yeah, you're on the go. You can just develop and sorry, you can just uh, create a uh, your own version of Linux and you can distribute it. That's it about the distributors. So the next main thing, the most important thing, the most frustrating thing, the most thing which differentiates both the operating system is the mode of purchase or the price of the operating system. When this price thing comes to Windows, you need to pay a sum of about $120, around $120 to purchase the license for Windows. But in case of Linux, as it's an open source operating system free for the public, you can have a free version of any Linux operating system. Um, you can download, you can just click on the download button inside a Linux distributor's official site to just get the operating system from them. And uh, most of the Linux doesn't, the Linux distributors doesn't compel you to pay for their operating system. So, uh, Linux is about 95% free of cost. Uh, and the remaining 5% when I'm coming to it, some of the Linux distributors may charge you to download their operating system because that's not actually an illegal thing. 
they might have added some extraordinary unique features to their own Linux distribution version so yeah surely definitely they need their own credits for that so when it comes to Ubuntu you can either download uh, the free version of Linux or if you want some support services or some additional add-on services to that Ubuntu Linux then you need to pay some amount of money for them but that's not a compulsion or restriction you can download and use the free version too but in case if you need some add-on packages you need to pay for Ubuntu and this is same in the case of uh, Red Hat Linux too so now we are going to deal with uh, the most threatening thing that is the thing which is threatening the whole cyber world that is the security when it comes to security I'm not talking about password security um you may be thinking password or giving providing a pin or a pattern or a password to your operating system is the most the best way of protecting it but now it's not password is just a collection of words which can easily be cut out which can easily be cracked which can easily be bypassed but in this security stuff I'm going to talk about malware when it comes to Windows Windows has more number of malwares. You can see it. Windows has more than 20 to 30 antivirus softwares, more than 10 popular antivirus softwares. So even from that list of top antivirus softwares, you can just uh, come to an end, come to a just come to a conclusion that Windows has more number of malwares. Malwares means viruses, worms, trojans, and some kind of weird malwares. But uh, in case of Linux, Linux doesn't even have an antivirus software. Yeah, it may be surprising, but this is the real world fact Linux doesn't even have an antivirus software because you don't need one Linux is completely not completely it's about 99% secure against malware attacks when it comes to the security stuff you may be wondering why Windows has more number of malware and why Linux is having less number of malware and here's the reason behind that when it comes to Windows when you are the root administrator of a Windows system then you have full permission full privilege to do anything with your system so so just think in the case if a malware tries to access your system and in the worst case if that malware gains administrator privileges then just think about the security level of your system boom it's gone that's it if a malware gets the administrator privilege of your Windows system it can easily breach your internal security it can even send your personal anonymous data to someone who is in control of the malware when it comes to Linux Linux doesn't have anything like an administrator administrative privilege even if you are the person who learned install Linux in that system then sadly you are not the administrator of the system so even you are not the administrator of the system then how come a malware can gain the administrative privileges of the Linux system in case of Linux system the Linux operating system is itself the administrator of the system and no hard you need to work really hard to break the security of Linux systems so Linux is completely secure that is 99% secure because nothing in the world is 100% and secured. So when it comes to security, Linux is the best. The next thing is the usage level of both the operating system. When it comes to usage, uh, sadly Linux has only less number of users. No offense, but yeah, that's the true world fact. When it comes to Windows, uh, more than 85% of the computer users use Windows as their primary operating system in the system. And uh, only 0.5% to 1% of the computer users use Linux as their primary operating system. And that's really a sad thing and uh, there is a reason for this thing. Um, but let me show you a sample first. Uh, you can see here this is the analytics data for my channel or uh, my channel doesn't have that number amount of view counts but anyway even with that little view count you can note that Windows users view my channel the most that is more than 97% of uh, my channel viewers are Windows users and uh, comes to Mac it has 2.5% uh, and when it comes to Linux sadly it has only 0.8% and this is the one month analytics of my channel so just estimate from that and uh, Linux has less number of users yeah that's the fact um, and uh, here is the main reason why Linux is used less and that thing is uh, the availability of applications for Linux Linux has only less number of application that is popular applications when it comes to Windows Windows has really a lot of softwares and apps for its usage but Linux doesn't have that much number of softwares so you cannot have all the softwares in your Linux system when compared to your Windows system uh, for example the popular softwares like Photoshop uh, Adobe Premiere or 
model of After Effects, Sony Vegas, Sony Smart Sound Studio, uh, then other softwares like uh, YouTube Downloader and uh, some other popular softwares. I know only some popular softwares. Those softwares are available only for Windows, uh, but those things are not available for Linux users. And the next main thing is that if you are a gamer, then no, Linux is definitely not the suitable operating system for you because Linux doesn't have that much popular game count. And when it comes to games, um, most of the popular games, not most, none of the popular games are trending now or available for Linux. And there is not even a platform in the game section called as Linux. So sadly, no gamers use Linux as the primary operating system. That's another reason. So these two are the main reasons. And another reason is that Linux doesn't have that much popularity among users because Linux don't advertise their operating system. So these are the things with the usage limit of Linux and Windows. The next thing is you may be wondering which operating system you should have or whether you should have a Windows PC or a Linux PC. And here's the answer for your question. If you are a programmer or a programmer come developer or a hacker hacker then Linux is the candy land for you. Yeah, Linux has all the programming language SDK packages and it has all the hacking packages as it's an open source operating system it has a lot of hacking packages and hacking scripts so if you are a programmer or a hacker or a developer then Linux is perfectly suitable for you. But if you are a frequent video editor, audio editor, um, musician, artist, gamer then don't use Linux because Linux will definitely drive you mad because it doesn't have that much software account for gamers, video editors and audio editors and some other users so if you are if you come under this category then Linux is not suitable for you. So that's it about the battle between Windows and Linux. The unknown fact is that actually Linux has more number of users in many indirect ways. Yeah I showed my channel statistics before and I showed it for computer devices. So now I'm going to show you for smartphone devices. When it comes to smartphone obviously Android gets the the first place in the channel statistics and in and in every other analytics and statistics Android gets the first place and uh, by the way Android is a Linux based operating system if you know or not yeah Android is a Linux based operating system and Android is purely based on Linux platform so in that way Linux is used a lot amount and the other thing is that we everyone uses YouTube Google Facebook um, Twitter everything and they have a dedicated server for storage and to your knowledge those servers among those servers more than 95% of the servers are Linux based servers yeah most of the companies use Linux servers as their primary server systems because they are highly efficient and they are less costly when compared to Windows systems that is Windows servers so most of the social networking companies and most of the organizations websites who use the server system for storing their data they use Linux servers and I think even Microsoft use some Linux servers for their own data storage I think so that's it guys that's it with the battle between Linux and Windows I think I hope you like this video so now you know where the thumbs up button is and if you want to stay connected with our channel then just hit hard on the subscribe button I'm leaving now guys I'll meet you in my next video hopefully so bye